Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. And uh, today's podcast is brought to you by Healing Every Day, just released four days ago. And I'm super grateful for that. And my hope and prayer is that this 90-day devotional will be a journey toward healing for you or maybe a friend of yours or a family member who's been struggling. Um, It's uh, kind of going through the same way that Jesus Every Day did, starting with Genesis ending in Revelation, but this one's only 90 days, so it's a three-month jaunt through the scriptures, through the whole Bible, and um, gives you insight into the healing journey through those scriptures. So Anyway, today's verse is Ephesians 4.15 from the New American Standard Version of the Bible, and it says this, But speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in all aspects into him, into him who is the head. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, thank you for this little tiny verse in Ephesians that has been so precious to me and so helpful. Um, Lord, help us to do this. Help us to speak the truth in love. I know there have been times where I have spoken the truth without love and then it just comes out as harsh and judgmental. Or I've only spoken love and I've neglected to tell the truth, which really isn't love. And so, Lord, you have commanded us to have a balance in both, that we would love people fiercely and we would love them enough to tell them the truth. And Lord, we also ask that you would send um, loving truth tellers into our lives. Um, I know for me, Lord, I need... uh, I need that correction. I don't always love it in the moment, but I need it. And I look back on my life now and I see some of my closest friends who were so good to me by choosing to tell me the truth even as they loved me. And that to me is really important in a friendship. And so I pray you would send my friends listening today, some friends like that or family members like that. And Lord, help us to learn how to discern how to deal with those who only speak truth with harshness. How do we, um, how can we lovingly respond to them? And I, I look at you, Jesus, and how you interacted with the Pharisees. You were firm. You were not um, always touchy-feely when you confronted. And so, Lord, help us to understand and have a robust understanding about truth and love, that they hold hands, that they cannot be separated. Um, Lord, I also pray that we would grow up into all aspects into you, who is the head of the body of Christ. And Lord, I don't want to be immature. I want to be mature in my faith. And um, I know that in this healing journey that I'm on, um, and even just going to counseling recently, I've learned that there's more aspects of me that need to grow up. Um, I don't always have to play the martyr. I don't have to always look at the glass half empty. I don't always have to be the center of attention. I don't have to um, try to get people to notice me. I know, Lord, this is a super vulnerable prayer for me to pray this in public like this, but these are some of the areas that I struggle with, especially that and body body image and how I look and how I appear. And as I get older, all these worries and cares and things, they just seem like they're not mature. And so, Lord, I pray you would grow me up. And I pray for those listening today that they would be grown up, um, that you would highlight uh, through the body of Christ what it is that is their next step of healing. Um, Lord, for me, I am still startling. I've been startling since I was a little kid, and I don't know if that'll ever go away, but I would just ask you kindly if you would help me to stop startling when people walk into a room. Um, And Lord, I trust you for the healing journey for the next 10, 20, 30 years. Um, I don't want to stagnate. And Lord, I pray for those who feel like they're stuck. Oh, there's so many of us. And I've been in that place many times where I felt like I can't conquer this. And Lord, it's true. I can't and we can't. Without your help, we cannot grow better or healthier. And so, Lord, we just... um, lay our lives and our healing journeys in front of you and we ask that you take the reins of that and that you would do what you want to do um, with gentleness and kindness which is your nature and Lord um, grow us up heal us more more healing more uh, joy more um, uh, more connectedness in your presence we long for that now in Jesus name amen 
Hey, thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You are such a blessing to me, and I'm so humbled that you're listening. Uh, You may not know this, but I have these little journals I created to accompany Pray Every Day, and now the spring journal is out, and you can find that in um, prayeveryday.show in the show notes. Um, It's not very expensive, and it's just a place for you to record the scripture that you've been listening to today, and then write your own prayer so that you can deepen your experience with Pray Every Day, and you can get that on Amazon. So anyway, um, I hope you're having an amazing day and uh, you are loved. You are so loved.